Do you have difficulty with math? Worry no more because I have a solution for you. Let's have math classes with Mamshi. See you in class. Welcome to our general mathematics class week 6b. Our topic is about solving exponential, this time inequalities. So at the end of the discussions, the students will be able to solve exponential inequalities. So I have here the examples of our exponential inequalities. As you can see, there are inequality sign between the two exponential expressions. And same thing, we have here the properties of exponential inequalities. If the base is greater than 1, it means that it's 2, 3, 4, 5 until the higher numbers. Then the exponential function will be y equals b raised to x is increasing for all values of x. This means that b raised to x is less than b raised to y if and only if x is less than why so take note that our inequality if we have the same base which is greater than one we have to follow the inequality sign but if we have quantities between zero and positive one take note these are fractions which as which is less than one then if b raised to x is greater than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y take note of the inequality sign it changes so it means that we are dealing if we are dealing with fractions which are less than one or between zero and one therefore we have to change our inequality sign if we have here greater than then we can use less than and same thing will happen if we have great less than then we can use greater than in solving and also, in solving exponential inequalities, you have to convert the expressions of both sides of the inequality in such a way that they have the same base. Still, we like our step one. And also, this will also imply that m is greater than n if a is greater than 1. So, we will apply these properties in solving exponential inequalities. Let's try this. Okay, so same thing. Step one, rewrite and make the base equal. Solve the inequality of the exponent based on the properties, then check if the answer is correct. Okay, find the value of x if 5 raised to 3x plus 2 is less than 125. So first is we have to make the base equal. 5 raised to 3. So now we have to express the inequality of exponents and take note our base is 5 which is greater than 1 so we have to copy the inequality sign okay so 3x plus 2 is less than 3 then solve 3x less than 3 minus 2 so 3x is less than 1 and so our x if we divide both sides with 3, our x is less than one third. Okay, so what are the values that we are going to use? That's from negative infinity to one third. It will not touch one third because we don't have less than or equal sign. And so we can use values 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Step Three, let's try to check whether our answer is correct. So let's try. 5 raised to 0. If our x is 0, we have 3 times 0 plus 2. That is 3 less than 125. Okay, that is 0 plus 2. 5 raised to 0 plus 2 less than 125. And so... 5 raised to 2 is equal to 25. That's really less than 125. Let's check another value. Let's try to check negative 2. 
So 5 raised to 3 times negative 2 plus 2 less than 125. Take note that our exponent here will be negative. Negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4. And so we have 1 over 5 raised to 4 equals uh, less than 125. Of course, it will be less than 125 because it is a fraction less than 1. Okay, let's continue with our example number 2. Let's have this one. So, 5 raised to x less than 5 squared multiplied by x minus 2. So, since the bases are greater than 1, we have to retain the symbol x less than 2 times x minus 2. So, x less than 2x minus 4. And so, if you transfer 2x to the left, we have x minus 2x less than negative 4. And so, we have negative x less than negative 4. Take note that your x here is negative. And if we have to multiply it with negative 1 to make it positive, then we have x greater than positive 4. Take note that when our x here or our variable is negative and we can change it to positive, we also have to change the symbol of our inequality. So x must be greater than 4. Take note that your x must be greater than 4. So we can use 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for our values. So we have 5 raised to 5 less than 25 raised to 5 minus 2. So that is 5 raised to 5 less than 5 squared raised. So that is 5 raised to 5 less than 5 raised to 6. That's really correct. Okay, let's continue with example number 3. Okay, we have to make the basis equal. So that is raised to x plus 5. Sorry, I think it's written that way. Greater than or equal to 1 over 49 raised to 3x. So if we are going to make the base, our 7 here is, our 49 here is 7 squared. So we have 1 over 7, quantity x plus 5, greater than or equal to 1 raised to 1 squared over 7 squared. Or if we are going to make this 2 out, we can 1 7 raised to squared times 3x. Okay, so that's it. Then since it is a fraction and less than 1, we have to change the inequality symbol. So x plus 5 from greater than or equal, that becomes less than or equal 2 times 3x. So x plus 5 is less than or equal to 6x. And you have to transpose x to the right. So you have 6x minus x equals 5. 6x six, six minus x is 5x. So we have 5x and 5 here. Divide both sides by 5. And so our x must be greater than or equal to 1. That will be the answer for this one and step three it's up to you to check whether our answer is correct or not thank you for watching and i hope that you have learned a lot in finding the solutions for exponential inequalities goodbye for those who are new to my channel just subscribe to my channel click subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot from me.